This tutorial is to show you how to take the footage that you created for the composition assignment and assemble it in Premiere. Now the first thing that we need to do is to get the footage off your um, SD card and onto the computer. So we will just grab that and drag it onto the computer. And if we take a look at it, we will see that we've got a folder that has the footage that you've shot. Um, this happens to be other stuff that we don't need, so I'm going to get rid of that. Now, when we uh, save our Premiere project, it uses video files as a reference. And so basically, what we need to do is we need to create a master folder that we can save everything in. And so we will just do that by just renaming the DCIM, and we'll call that composition. And in order to make our lives a little more clear, this folder we will call footage. All right. And now we will open Premiere and we will select new project and we will tell it to save that project here in our master folder. And it will and it'll be called composition. All right. And so now we're inside Premiere. So over here is where we want to import our media. And we can do that two different ways. We can either double click in this panel and take our footage and import it. And there it is. Or we can just grab that folder from the window and drag it in. Okay. All right, we want to drag our footage over here into the uh, timeline. And so we'll grab our first shot and drag it across. And what that's going to do is because we shot video that was 1080p uh, 2997, we've created a sequence that matches your video. So we've got our video track and two audio tracks. This is what the audio looks like. And so we'll just delete those because we don't need that. And when we drug that first shot in, we created a, a, a sequence file. And so you'll call it your name, composition. And we'll just get it out of there to keep everything nice and clear. And ultimately, that's what we're going to be exporting. So I want you to compile your 10 shots in the order that uh, it's listed in the assignment. And I want you to make them about four or five seconds long. So this shot happens to be, so I'll sh shorten that shot. We'll get rid of this audio as well. And so we've got two shots that are about four seconds long. All right. And now what I want you to do is to label these so that I know what shots you're talking about. So now we're going to add our titles. So we'll go to title, new title, default still, click OK. And we will click on the title tool and we'll pop down here. And this shot kind of looks like perspective to me, so I'm going to call it 10 perspective and if we click on this little button it'll line it up and center it and I don't like the font that we have and so let's call it let's make it Helvetica instead because that'll be easier to read in video and we will make it bold as well and we will center it one more time And then we will drag it right on top of our assignment and shorten it up. Okay. So that's essentially what I want you guys to do is put the, your 10 shots in a row 
and uh, label them like this and then we will export and so we will go file export media we want to match source and so we want to so we'll click on output name and so if you've named your composite your sequence your name composition it'll be it'll come out correct otherwise you'll need to change that name so it says your name composition so it'll be easier for me to grade we will go to the desktop and our main folder and we'll tell it to sell it, save it there we want it to be H264 and we don't need to worry about the audio and then we can click export and it will export that file when it's done exporting just save that file and then we want to take a look at um, how it turned out so we'll click it open and it will open in QuickTime this looks like a 1080p file and we've got our text and our image together and so everything worked properly and so this is what you'll either turn into D2L or post onto Vimeo and send me a link. Good luck!